This is my 1998 Ford F-150 with a 5.4 Triton V8 in it. And it's got rough idle, so I'm going to take a look at fixing that. What happens is if you stop at stop signs or just stop for a minute, if you're not accelerating, it'll idle rough. But it works just fine when you're pressing the accelerator. It runs beautifully. So, and it, it can even get so bad when it does idle rough, it'll even shut itself off and you have to start it again. So we're going to take a look at it. Sometimes needle moves up and down on the tack, but right now it isn't. Shakes the whole truck. Almost sounds like it's got a misfire, but it doesn't. The exhaust is shaking a little bit. couple of methods that you can use to find these vacuum leaks. It's really not all that complicated. Uh, one that I really like is to take a propane torch. These old ones work really good. And you just turn the gas on. Don't light it. Don't light a flame. And with the engine running, go around all the hoses, all the connections. And if the motor revs up, that's where you'll know where your vacuum leak is because it's sucking propane instead of air. So the motor's going to rev up. It's almost sort of kind of not really like putting nitrous. Another method that you can use is to take this brake booster off here, right by this big round piece. Take that off and you can get a cheap cigar and blow smoke right into here and look around, you know, where it's not windy, maybe in a garage would be the best. And you can see wherever the smoke comes out, that's where your vacuum leak is. But that might not work if it's really, really minuscule, if it's something such a small crack or if it's sealing tight without a vacuum on it. And just you blowing might not be enough pressure to get that to be able to see the smoke. So the last method to use is the one that I really kind of ended up finding all my problems on is just take a look at all the hoses, look at all the surfaces, see if they're cracked, you know, Take a look, see if they're soft and pliable. Uh, but if they're hard and brittle or cracked or anything, you know to replace that hose. And if you can't see the end of the hose, or you can't see where the hose goes, take it off. Pull the hose off. Look at the end of it. Look at the elbow. Because those elbows, those go bad more than anything. There's three hoses that are going to be replaced here. Well, two elbows and a short piece of hose. There is one on the back of the intake. There's one down here by the PCV valve, and then one underneath that engine cover. While I was fixing vacuum leaks and trying to replace anything that doesn't look great, I'm going to try to do it right. So, and, and, you know, and do everything. So, um, yeah, this one here is pretty, it's got quite the nice gap. And it's sealing up here where the end is, but it's got, it's, yeah, I'm not keeping that like that. Pretty loose, too, so taking that out. Uh, auto parts store did not have this piece of hose, you know, the actual part itself, but they did have a piece of hose, had to buy it by the foot and cut off the little chunk there to replace it with. So that'll work for that. This stuff doesn't have the, uh, fabric fibers inside of it, but this one does. And it's a little bit thicker, but the outside diameter doesn't really matter. The inside's the only thing that I care about. And you can see you touch it and it just disintegrates into this black powder. So I just got to take this little plastic end off with a pair of pliers and uh, throw that new hose in. I'm just throwing it in the vise here using these tabs to help me. And there we go. Broke it loose. So now I should be able to pull it off by hand. With two hands. So that's back on there. So now I'm moving over to the other side here. Uh, I already took this hose off. This one goes from the back of that idle air control valve right there down to this kind of junction on the PCV valve. You can see that end sticking out right there. That's where the other end goes on. So this larger end goes on the, on the um, idle air control valve and then this smaller end goes on a PCV side and I didn't realize this either they're both cracked 
and it sucks because I actually have another one of these, but brand new out of the package. It's cracked in the same spot this one is, right there. And then on the other side, there is a big giant crack right in the middle of it. You'll see if I spread it open on this side. There is a huge hole in there, so yeah, definitely the cause of my vacuum leak there. So I got this one. There's a new part. You can see it's big on one and small on the other, so that goes on there. But I gotta go make another trip and go pick up a new one of these. And even though I'm really confident in this, I am gonna make sure that this one fits on the back of the idle air control valve before going and picking up this end. I took this end off already. So I am gonna throw this hose back in there. I, you know, it's if you were just doing this end by the PCB, you don't have to take this hose out. But for that back one, you kind of really have to because it is such a tight fit back in there because it has to go on the way, way back to that. And if you're touching the firewall and you got, you know, you're hitting the top piece here. It's just, there is no room back there whatsoever. So I'll throw that back on there. I'm gonna, the way I took it out, by the way, is I had to loop it underneath all of these wiring harnesses and all these hoses, and then it runs back. That's where that 90, kinda, 90 degree, yeah, 90 degree turn goes and goes off to the side into the valve. So I'll throw the hose back in. On the last one, that piece, this one went on the hose, and then this went onto the PCV valve. So I'll do it in the same way. That hose is sitting way back in there. Not sure how well you'll be able to see. That's it right where the tip of my finger is. So we'll just kind of pull it out a little bit. Yeah. I'm sorry to say I don't think that you're going to be able to see anything I'm doing down in here because everything is such a tight fit. But basically, let me see, I have it on the end there. I'm just going to slip it on there real quick. It's on there. It was a nice tight fit too, so that's really good. So now, it's just got to go on the end of here. That is on there all the way. So that's good. There's a better view for you of that one on there. Alright, with everything all back together, it's the moment of truth. That's pretty good, and it sounds great. So, uh, what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna wipe that that check engine light. It was on for the three things. That was, uh, uh, I'll throw the codes up on the, on the screen now. I don't remember exactly what they were. But there you go. Looking really, really good. I'm so glad that's fixed now. I put that off for so long.